when Lincoln came home with Connor, you could tell really quickly it was like, man, he, he really loves his dog. is the dog of a lifetime for me. How does it get any better than this? I mean, this is my best friend. I can't imagine having a better dog than he is. I will never have another Lincoln. Dogs have certain amounts of drive to get, get birds, retrieve, and certain amounts of drive to please, to please the owner, please their trainer. Uh, Lincoln, when he's hunting, is 100% of both. We started asking around to people like, hey, who's got good hunting dogs? Who's doing this type of thing? who breeds good house dogs and hunting dogs. And we have a mutual friend, Heath Barton, and he goes, you have to meet this guy. You gotta meet this guy. He's the most interesting person you'll ever run into in your life. Huge personality, huge heart. You'll, you'll absolutely love him. And when I first met Barton, he was out there working dogs. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna get one of his dogs and I want him to train one. Connor and I met a couple of duck seasons ago. He made like a quick mention, like, yeah, you're gonna have to come hunt our place one day. You know, he got him on a list for a cane and pin pup, and the rest is history. Barton calls me about a week after we met, I believe, and was like, hey, I got a dog for you. Two weeks after I met Barton, I had one of his dogs. It was it was just one of one of those lucky deals. And I mean, I wouldn't trade it for the world. I mean, Hinkin is the most unique, the most friendly, the most just he's perfect for me. He has drive, man. Like crazy. Lincoln is a super unique dog with a, a really, really crazy story. He's overcome quite a bit of adversity in his life. You know, he was bitten by a family dog, which caused him to lose a tooth and have to have some stitches. And in training, he had his tongue ripped wrestling with another dog. And then on top of all that, he inhaled some foreign object. It got lodged in his lung, required a massive surgery at Mississippi State where they, they cut him open and removed almost all of his right lung. And this is right before his first duck season. There's no doubt that all these hardships really forged the bond between Lincoln and Connor. You won't meet a more unique dog than him, but you also won't meet anyone who loves their dog more than Connor does. As Lincoln's trainer and, and Connor's friend, it's been pretty special watching these two work together, doing something that they both love so much, and that's chasing ducks in the timber. They're pretty darn good at it. He's, 
he's been right next to me through some of the hardest points of my life, honestly. He's as good as it gets, and I don't want to hunt out there without him. Thank you.